Hello, today we're taking a look at Military Cupid. This is a part of the Cupid Network, and it's a dating service for that of military personnel. So whether you are a, you know, uh, deployment in the Army, Navy, whatever branch it may be, if you're looking to connect via civilians to military personnel or military personnel to civilians, then this is the network for you. So when you jump in here, you can see your profile on the top left, free standard account if you want to upgrade your membership. In the right here, you get things like unlimited communications, ad-free experience, and more. Other than that, you'll be showing your recommended matches here, and you can see a uh, very profile-centric site here. You can go ahead and browse through the profiles here very, very easily. You get the avatar, you get the age, general location, if they have multiple pictures here, and you can, of course, hover over those to get more options, such as uh, seeing the ability to check the profile out, send them a message, show interest in them, and or add them to your favorites and or see if they're online or offline. So this is a great way to kind of organize it uh, from a glance without even having to jump in the profile, these little quick uh, icons that you can go ahead and access here, whether it's messaging them, adding them, or showing interest. And if you show interest and they do the same back to you, then it's a mutual match. Now, before diving into the profiles here, you'll see on the left that you have a very basic search. We'll go over the advanced search in a minute here. But the basic search just entails whether you're looking for male or female, age range, location, and more. Under that, you have popular searches, which make it easy to kind of browse through the site and all of the different members on it uh, if you don't know where to start so you can see my matches most popular matches latest photos in my area or new members so for example if i just want to see the new members i can click on this right here and it'll take me to all the new members here on military cupid and then from there i can go ahead and click on a profile for example let's click on Mercer's profile you can see i can see her account here and if i click on show interest that'll automatically show interest if i click on view profile it'll take me to her full uh, profile here and what's interesting about this let me go ahead and submit my information here is you'll see right away uh, the information such as you know of course the stuff that she's put in here so about her but on top of that you get the things as far as like where you match her criteria what she's looking for and how you guys match here with these uh, green dots right here as you can see uh, and that makes it really again just right off the bat a very visual experience where you can kind of see where you match up and your compatibility with somebody right off the bat again you can go down read information such as lifestyle choices uh, background or cultural values and whatever else they may be putting in as far as uh, information so it could be favorite books music what have you um, you can go ahead and scroll down to see what they input here sometimes they'll have more about me information at the top here that you can check out uh, and other than that you can see interests of course in this case it was very sent since i had interest there um, and if they have multiple pictures you'll see it in the top and at the very top, you just kind of get a quick view of their profile. So what they're seeking, age range, living within a certain area, what they're looking for, whether it's friendship, romance, or dating, and their last active time. Now, in this case, since we were viewing this from an earlier viewpoint, we can go ahead and just jump through the profiles using the next or previous. Otherwise, we can also use our nav bar here at the top. So first off, it shows you how many members are currently online. You can see right now, as of this uh, video, there's 125 members online. I can click on the matches tab to view all of my matches. So not only do I see recommended matches, but I'll see my own matches here and mutual matches and reverse matches. So mutual matches, again, as I mentioned earlier, when you show like interest, reverse matches is when somebody shows interest in you, but you've yet to respond back. The search tab is your all advanced search here. And as you can see, it's much more complex than the uh, uh, search tab that we looked at earlier, or the search pane, I should say, because you can really filter out your results here and what you're looking for uh, in your you know, significant other or somebody that you may be interested in. It can be drilled down to life choices, appearance, uh, height, weight, eye color, all of those personal preferences that you may have and looking for somebody can be filtered out here. And then you can save your search. You can do keyword search, first name, all sorts of different searches here within the advanced search tab. Your messages is where you'll get everything as far as messaging, inboxes, uh, contacts from other people. If you're sending things to everybody else, your threads will show up all in here. Last but not least is your activity tab, and this shows activity towards you and activity from you. So for example, if somebody shows interest in you, favorites you, you can see that, and vice versa. For example, earlier we added Marissa to our interest here, so here she is. It's a great way to keep organized and see all of the users that you may be going through, especially if you're coming through a lot. You can go ahead and see the interactions that you've made as far as favoriting, interest in somebody, and again, vice versa, people who may be interested in you. So again, if you're looking to date within the military community, whether you're overseas or stateside, then militarycupid.com is for you.